super glassy, super calm. Just got out here, it's quite cold. Pretty much winter, eh? Look at this. Look at that thing. Mental. Hoping for a tuna of some type or another. I haven't seen any action. But they could always be out there, mate. You never know. Well, mullet jumping. I wonder if something's chasing them. Woo, mullies! I'm gonna get in to put in a pretty long session here. I'll last as long as my water lasts. I got one later. Should be a while. This is a really nice looking little sinking stick. I think if a tuna sees that, it's just gonna eat it. I haven't had a fish for a while and the family's flaring for some tuna this season. They've been hearing about mates getting them and all sorts of stuff and we haven't had one, so possible catch and keep today. We'll see what fish we get. A couple little potential mac tuna or something. Tripping out. I think if a mac tuna even sees this, it's gonna get eat. Oh, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Next couple casts could be, could be a fish. Yes, little Maki. Raw thing. I know this lure would get one, eh? It's just so perfect profile. Couple headies. Might be. What have I got? It's a mac tuna. I'm pretty sure it's a mac tuna. It's got a little bit of weight. Oh, is that a long tail? Is it a long tail? Is it a long tail? Oh, that's sick. Could just be a little marky, but I don't know. A little bit of a run. I haven't hooked a decent fish for a while, eh? It feels so good. Oh, so much bait! About to get washed off the rock. I have to give it my tip. Yeah, I turned it. Try and smoke it up. Oh, there's heaps of bait, eh? What do we got? I think it's just Matt Juna. Uh, I got the D hookers right here. Such pretty fish. Come on, buddy. Yeah. That's one way to land a match, you know? <laughs> right at your feet. I'll day hook and just chuck him straight back. Got the day hookers right here. I won't bother with like a slow mo release because they're pretty fragile, the old tunies. Anytime out of water, pretty much. 
could hurt them. So beautiful little like maybe like five kilo or a bit less. Little Mackie. I'll send him with this. Thank you, buddy. Woo! Out of there. I'll get straight back out there and hopefully we can turn that little Mac tuna into a long tail tuna. Big num num if we do. It's interesting, all the years that I've fished here, there has always been mama dolphins with their one little calf right here and they always come and hang right in front here it must be like a little tailor feeding ground for them or something or they just eat in the bait fish that cruise along here they love this little spot i'll wait for them to come up before i cast again i think that was them there many dollies no cast let them go by and then i'll cast behind them I'm wondering if I should change lure to something a bit bigger. This thing, magical, magical lure. Sometimes you just see the look of a lure and you know what species is gonna want it. And that, to me, just says tuna. The size of it, the shape of it, the like profile, and obviously the look, the colors are amazing. Simple, but just looks like a bait fish. It's got cool little action on it got that mac tuna earlier but now the sun's coming up i'm gonna put on some zinc you get a few questions why there's like weird stuff all over your face and on your lip it's zinc natural sun cream i think it's actually really good for your skin too right if i ever do get sunburn i put this stuff on after as well but you don't get sunburn if you put it on in the first place couple spiros out there on the reef I don't think they interfere too much with tuna. I've actually hooked tuna inside of Spiros who are out a bit further in the past. Obviously, if you're like going for a little reef fish or something and a Spiro comes around the corner and nukes your zone, that's different. But with pelagics, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I guess they would spook if they got close to the Spiros. But they probably just swim around them and then if they saw your lure, just think it's a fish anyway. So it's it's actually made by the same fella, Cree Lures. And this is a Benito 170S. So it's a bit bigger, big lure. Looks beautiful. If a tuny sees this, actually anything, kingy, marlin. Not that there's any marlin right now. But uh, very confident in the, the finish of this lure. And let's see what the action's like. Dead set bonito. Looks so sick. Right, it sends pretty well. And it actually swims really well. Just changed over to Cavi's Diver. Never thrown it before. Give it a go. I think it'll stand out, out there in the big blue. I think I'm going back to the Reggie. Back to the origin story.
Oh, dollies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Instant. What the hell, tuna? Straight away. Instant tuna. It must have been hanging with the dollies. Oh my god. Yeah, long tail. You can see it flashing out there. I'm gonna try and turn it here. Give it its head. And back on. Good fish. Good fish. Turning time. Come on. Yeah, long tail. He was hanging with those dolphins. I didn't even see them. Walked up, cast, dolphins popped up. And look at this. Long tail straight away. Definitely coming home for dinner. Oh, he's on the surface. <laughs> oh, Longy! Oh, yeah. Yes! He was just hanging with those dollies. Yeah, he's swimming this way. It's good. Get him out of the reef. I might try and pump him up a little. A few quick ones. Get him up. Come on, buddy. Definite long tail. I saw a big silver. Oh, that's so good. Midday long tail. And he was on dolphins. I want to get him away from this reef. Just because I don't want him to go deep. I'm going to also move up now before these sets come. Definitely a few set eyes. But I got the pressure of him, so... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Long A. Yes. I think he's quite good, eh? I think he's decent size, Long E. Yeah, he's got a good run on him here. He's taking a, at least a hundred meter run here. It's out way past the reef now. And I got a fair bit of pressure on him. No one behind me to hold me. So I might actually come back down off here now the waves are gone. Just so I don't end up falling. <laughs> Alrighty. We got a long tail. This is what we came for. And it was on that lure that I knew a tuna would eat if it saw it. And sure enough, I didn't even, I did not even wind. It was already on. I was probably on the second it hit the water. It's a good fish. I'm calling it like, good like 15 kilo. But I also did think a, uh, Three to five kilo mac tuna was a long tail a minute ago. Oh, we got more tuna busting out just beyond it. <laughs> oh, I've spun so many sessions this season. Every time I could. I've done at least like six or seven sessions with nothing. So I'm very happy to get this and I really want to land it. It's a good fish. It's going to feed the family. And I think... I think he'll come in without too much fuss now that he's done his run. Shallow at the moment, so I really don't want him to go that way, which he is going that way at the moment. I'll definitely turn him if I got to. All right, lots of pumping mines here. My arm is dead already. Been doing a bit of rock climbing and jiu-jitsu and I've got a little bit of a beasting going on on the left. Oh, I might try and turn him now before he goes in too far. Just giving him his head. A little step forward, gave him his head. Hopefully that turns him. Gently bring him back up. Try and get him coming this way. Come, buddy. 
Oh, I can see him. That definitely did not turn him. Go a bit hard on him here. See if I can get him to turn. Okay, giving him his head. Hopefully that turned him. Because otherwise we're in danger zone. Oh yeah, we're definitely in danger zone here. It's going in. Just loosening, letting him run, because this is bad. Keep running, buddy. Get away from there. I think we turned him. Yep, he's going the other way. Woo! That was, that was a little bit precarious. Getting a few lanes into him here. Bring him up to the surface again. Yeah, I can see him over the reef, up on the surface. He's about 50 meters out. Good fish. Don't turn again, buddy, what are you doing? Don't turn yourself. Oh, he turned himself. He really doesn't want to go, oh no. Same deal again, I'm loosening. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to loosen again here. Load up. Give him his head. Let him run a bit. Back on him. Yep. It's good. Oh no! No! The hook pulled. The hook pulled. No! What did it break? Nah, the hook pulled. Oh no! That is devastating. No! Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's devastating. <laughs> no bend, just pulled. He kept trying to go into the bay, which was really dangerous, so I had to keep turning him. I was loaded back up, so I had pressure, but... Maybe it was only just in his lip and it finally kind of worked its way through. Ah, oh, devastated. If I don't get anything else, I hope you all enjoyed the film. Next time. Woo.